Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Stripe to Equid in 2023. Stripe is a popular online payments processing platform. And Equid is a versatile e-commerce platform. In this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate Stripe with your Equid store for seamless and secure online payments. So make sure to stick by let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and sign up for a stripe account to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you do so make sure to go to the url section and here make sure to type stripe dot com and hit the enter button once you do so of course you'll be taken to their home screen or main screen here if you don't know much about this website of course first of all scroll down and read more information about this website uh, understand uh, what this stripe is and just have a general idea and familiarize yourself with this website because you're just gonna you're gonna use it as a payments processing for your equity store it's very necessary to understand what is that if you don't know if you know or if you have an account you can simply go log in into your accounts by clicking on sign in at the top right corner and of course first of all if you aren't interested about the pricing here is it you can see it's all by your own of course if you don't have an account you can always click on start now to create a new account for me i'll just go and click on sign in right now and of course here i'll sign in with my account of course you can simply even use like a single sign on sso instead if you want to so here i'll just enter my password uh it's been a while since i logged in into stripe i don't know if it's the same password yeah it seems like it's corrected now they will send me a code in my gmail let's see if i'll get it so i'll have to wait i guess a bit and let's just see seems like it's not here so let's just go and try to sign in another way and let's see if we have like uh, a backup code i don't know i'll just type i don't have a backup code uh confirm account details as an example so full name i don't know what i typed in there so let's just say an example i don't have an account let's just go and click on sign up why not and of course for the sign up i'll use like my email here i'll use full name as test or let's just use this as email of course for the password i'll type something like this of course you can check this email if you want to get like more emails uh, from stripe about products updates industry news and event if you change your mind you can unsubscribe at any time uh you can check it or uncheck it so your uh, uh face uh, sorry your password is not strong let's just add this as an example and let's see yeah it's strong at the moment so here basically i'll just go and click on create account an account is already exists with this email if you'd like to create yeah i guess yeah as i said i have an account with this so let's just do i forgot password i'll choose this email and of course making sure it's not a robot as you can see so they send me now an email to change my password and i guess i'll get this so i'll change my password here with the email that they sent me as you can see now they send me so reset your password here and i'll basically just type menu password here and confirm that password and click on continue as simple as that now of course i'll have to confirm my identity through my authenticator app so let me just go and open my phone through my authenticator app and here i'll just type the password that we have here so 280334 of course this password changes over time so and yeah continue to dashboard so now as you can see i sign in into my account of course for you if you don't have an account just go and create one and you'll find yourself on dashboards make sure to even activate payments on your accounts by clicking on activate payments if it's not activated yet of course you'll have to finish those steps as you can see verify your business add in your bank secure your account add in extras and review and finish it's very simple so for me i'll not do it for you make sure to go and do that it's very simple to do it make sure to enter accurate information or your accounts may get banned so just get and enter some accurate information once you have your stripe account now go as we said we'd like to connect to equid so go to open a new tab go to equid.com 
here we'll have to do the same if you don't have an account you'll have to go and create a new account if you have one just go and log in into it if you don't know nothing about it of course scroll down read more information about this and etc and if you're interested about the pricing here's it this annually and this monthly you can see the features that comes with it so of course if you have an account uh, just log in into it at the top right corner if you don't click on get started for free for me i have an account so i'll just click on login they will log me right into my account because i uh, checked an option to remember me so i will not have to enter my credentials again and again I use this remember me a lot so that's why i forgot my password earlier <laughs> but it's fine here what we'll need to do is basically go to this left panel and on configuration click on payments once you click on payments here you'll have to scroll down again and on this other ways to get paid as you can see choose a payments processor from our list of 130 plus providers to accept credits and debit cards paypal and other online payments options so click on it and simply type on your keyboard stripe or if you don't want to like type it, you can simply go and look for S and look for Stripe. Of course, as an example, this is. So as you can see, for me, I did not find this because I already added it before. So I don't have to do it again. And basically here, if you don't have it like here, as example, let's just remove it. As you can see, if you don't have it here, you can simply just go and choose it from here and look for Stripe, as you can see. So once I click on Stripe, I'll find it now here at the top. So click on connect and enable. And this will take you, of course, to a new tab to connect it. As you can see, connect with Stripe to accept payments. Stripe is a powerful payments processor that provides a seamless checkout experience, various payments options, and fraud protection. Pay 2.9% plus 0.3 per online transaction. Custom rates are available for qualified business. So subscription, collect your custom customers' card details, and a lot of other stuff. So let's just not read all of this. Just by enabling payments, of course, make sure to read this Stripe service agreements and prohibited businesses. And here, of course, I'll just use and connect this account because I'm already logged in into account. So they just get me right into it. As you can see, they will have to start with me with some basics, which is just activate payments that I showed you before here. You'll have to activate your payments. If it's already activated, you will not go through all of that. But if you don't, you'll have to finish those informations, which is activating your payments and your Stripe will be connected and you'll be good to go. So let's just close all of those. And as I said, you'll be yeah, good to go. Now, if you go to your payments processing, you'll find like Stripe there. Uh, just to ensure everything is set up correctly, perform a test transaction using test card provided by Stripe. And of course, keep an eye on Stripe dashboard to monitor and come in like payments and manage your transactions. And that's going to be it for us. So if you reach the sponsor of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected Stripe to Equid in 2023. With this integration, you can offer your customers a secure and convenient payments experience. So make sure to regularly check your Stripe accounts for updates and new features to make the most out of this payments getaway. So thank you for watching and happy selling. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channel for more head for tutorials like this one if you have any issues you can contact like the stripe or equid uh, support or you can leave a comment down below and come back to you as soon as possible so thank you for watching again and i'll see you in the next video